I think that that's a, a very complicated uh, kind of question because um, although I really feel like I never had um, a particular obstacle that I had to overcome as a female scientist, I never felt that like I was uh, singled out or, um, or had anything uh, uh, done against me, um, uh, I do see that when uh, one looks uh, at where women are in science, uh, that there is a very large discrepancy and that there, there does seem to be uh, an inability for, um, uh, for women to get to uh, higher uh, echelons in, uh, uh, in the scientific uh, hierarchy or in, uh, in academia. So I think that um, although I didn't feel like I had any, uh, uh, anything done personally to me, um, I think that there may be more subtle uh, social um, uh, interactions uh, at play uh, in the scientific world uh, that, that does have a little bit of a um, negative effect on women advancing in their careers. I think that as more women get into uh, higher levels of, of science and um, as, uh, as it's very clear uh, to uh, younger women coming in uh, to the field that yes, it is possible uh, to get to the, the higher ranks, uh, that will, uh, will help. Um, and also, I think that the way that, uh, that women uh, run meetings and um, when, uh, when the power structure is, um, is such that you have a larger representation of women uh, at higher levels, uh, that the conversation may change somewhat. Um, and so that could also be uh, helpful moving forward. Uh, just follow what you're excited about. I would say the same thing to female scientists as to male scientists, to all, uh, all young people, really. Uh, the, the fun thing is to um, be able to do something that excites you. Um, a lot of times what we do is a lot of hard work, um, but hard work is actually okay if you really are engaged in it. Um, and so uh, that really, I think, is the, is the main thing, is find something that you're passionate about and, and be able to follow that.